wonder they say shall never cease to end. Gumi had refused to give up on this agitating for bandits in, bandit in Nigeria. Welcome back to Prospect Channel TV. Thank you for this coming out here. If you are just joining us, please kindly subscribe to this channel and don't forget to give us a thumbs up. A prominent Kaduna-based Islamic cleric and the former military officer Ahmed Abubakar Gumi has told the Nigerian government to embrace the idea of negotiation with the bandits and other non-state actors revenging the country. During an interview with Trust TV, the Islamic cleric stated that the government is wrong to continue spending billions of naira to combat banditry and terrorism. According to him, the only way to secure security is for the government to engage in an open discussion with the terrorists. He added that the root of security problems in the country could link to the age-long farmer header crisis across the north and alleged that this could only be solved through negotiation and not war. Gumi also berated the Nigerian military over the recent mistaken bombardment of Tondu Buri residents in Kaduna State, adding that the incident is an indication for the government to strengthen the capacity of the police force to stop the military from interfering in the country's internal security. This is not the first time such is happening. The military should fight the the military should fight the military tank by tank, jet by jet. The military should be out of fighting insecurity. We are not fighting Cameroon or Togo. The, the cleric was quoted by Daily Trust as saying, he continued. And the jet fighters should not be used on citizens. I cannot imagine any American president, no matter how instructive, would use F sustained to bombed Americans. Impossible, he would go down the next day. What was needed are very good policies. Okay, what was needed are very good policies than stranger policing. That is where our money should go. All these people should be involved in community policing. In every society, you have very good people, and they are the majority Nigerians, are very humble people, very resilient, who can sustain a lot of hardship. So I don't see why good governance and good policing should be a big deal. All the money we spend on buying all these second world war airplanes and artillery and jets to fight insurgency is is just a cheap way of dealing with this issue. And billions of naira are spent on that. Negotiate with these people, build for them schools and hospitals. Let them have future. Build for their market. Even the people we call bandits, what they sometimes complain is that they no longer have cattle market because whenever they establish market, it gets destroyed. So the military should not be out of this picture completely. We are not fighting a foreign country. We should develop our internal security, he said. Though these have you know, generated a lot of reactions from Nigerians. This is really very shocking. I was expecting, I was expecting, you know, Gumi to say something about the, what is it called? The killing in a plateau state. As you can see, he did not mention anything about that. Now you are now advising Nigerian government you know, to take Nigerian soldiers out from the, the, the fight of bandits so that they will kill Nigerians. 
they will finish Nigerians. I don't even know why they are keeping this man quiet in this country. He have a lot to say. He have so many things to say concerning this banditry in Nigeria. How can someone be protecting criminals? These people are terrorists. You understand? If you want market, if you want school, if you want hospital, then you should be killing innocent Nigerians. Is that how to project, you know, what you want the government to do for you? Killing your fellow Nigerians, is it making sense? I was expecting Gumi to say something about the killings in Plateau State. He didn't say anything about that. His only trouble now is the government should build, should build markets. It should be, they should build homes. They should build schools. They should build hospitals for bandits. And the soldiers should stop fighting banditry in Nigeria. Well, you don't even need any, anybody to tell you anything about this man. With what he has said, you can understand what is actually happening. This is so shocking. Because even with this, Nigerian government cannot even say anything or do anything. This is really scary. This man supposed to be invited by the DSS. What are these people supposed to do? They're not going to do one. You understand? This Gumi is supposed to be invited by the DSS. I feel that he has so much to say about this insecurity in Nigeria that is going on. How can you say people who have been killing, they should just leave them? Who does that? They should stop fighting them so that they can finish the whole country. Eh? What kind of problem is this? And why is it that the government is afraid to pick up this gumi? He has so much to say about what is happening. Every time anything this bandit attack, and you will see him defending them. Everything he said here. I was expecting him to say something about the killing in Plato. He didn't say it. He didn't say anything like that. He's talking about the one that happened in Kaduna. Because that one concerns Muslims. But the one that happened in, in Plato State, those, those ones are foul. They are not human beings. It's a pity we found ourselves here. So guys, let's hear from you. What's your take? Kindly share your thoughts below the comment section. Thank you.